Hey, what's up? How is everyone doing today? And welcome to part three of the airport collection build tutorials series. Where today I am going to be showing you how to build some ground vehicles for your Minecraft airport. And as always, I'd love it if you smash that like button as it does help me out and I would highly appreciate that. And also, if you want to know how to build this airport terminal behind me or the watchtower or a runway, I have got tutorials for this whole kind of airport on my channel. So if you want to know how to build them, you can check them out as well. But without me wasting any more time, let's build some vehicles so first up i'm going to show you how to build a shuttle bus so firstly i've got some black wall here and firstly i'm just going to place one block just there and then leaving a gap of three i'm going to place another one just on the other side just there and then i'm going to leave a gap of ten so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then on the 11th block i'm going to place another black wall and another one just opposite that as well and the next i'm going to leave a gap of 8 11 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and on that 11 block i'm going to place another black wall and then another one opposite that as well and the next up i'm going to grab myself some quartz slabs and then just from this point i'm going to go across five blocks and then another five on this side as well but then just coming back to the wheels i'm going to destroy these slabs which are right next to them just there and then moving around i'm then going to place another slab where I was just leaving one block gap in between the wheel and it and then I'm just going to build this across another seven more slabs so one two three four five six seven and then I'm just going to do that on the other side as well and then leaving another gap in between I'm going to place one more slab just on the ends of these wheels just there and then I'm just going to connect these together and then after that I'm going to grab myself a smooth stone slab and then after that, I'm going to grab myself a stone slab. And then I'm just going to, from this point, go across three. And then just build that along just there. And then moving back to our quartz slabs, I'm going to place another five just along here. And then I'm going to build this across by another three more slabs on each side. Just there. And then making sure we leave a gap there. And then I'm going to leave another gap here. And then I'm just going to build... Two more slabs coming out just here and then just on the end here i'm going to place another three slabs just there and i'm just going to do this at the front as well so once we've done all the main outlines of our bus we can now fill in just the middle area with some more quartz So the base of your bus should look something like this. And the next up, I'm going to move on to my yellow concrete. And then firstly, just moving to the front here, I'm going to place three concrete just at the front. And then just on either side, I'm going to place another three just there. And then moving back to the front with a quartz slab, I'm going to place one slab just in each corner just there. And then moving back to my yellow concrete, I'm, I can extend this by one more. And then I'm also going to grab myself on quartz stairs i'm going to place one stair just facing that way another upside down one facing me and then another one just on the right i'm just going to do this on this side as well and then moving back to our yellow concrete i'm then going to place another three blocks just either side and then i'm also going to grab myself some orange concrete and i'm just going to place five of these on each side as well and then moving back to our quartz stairs, repeating what we've done with these two wheels here, we're going to do the exact same thing on these two. And then with some more orange, just place another two blocks on the end there. And the next I'm going to grab myself some deep slate tile walls and also some polished deep slate walls as well. And first I'm going to place one tiled wall just on either side, just here. And then a polished one in the middle and then another tile wall on the end there. And that will be for the kind of middle bit of the bus where it kind of links together. And then before we continue, I just realised I need to shift this by one more. So if we just quickly shift this 
just here and then place one more slab. And then with some more orange concrete, I'm going to place three just either side, just there. And then returning to the yellow, I'm going to place two more yellow concrete just on each side, just there. And then doing the same wheel design that we've done for the other two. And then after that, I'm just going to place two more yellow concrete on the end there. And also three just here as well. And then I'm also going to grab myself some quartz slabs and then place just one of these in the corners just there as well. So this will give us our first layer of our bus. And then moving back to the front with some more yellow concrete, I'm going to place two just on either side just there. And now I'm also going to grab myself some black stained glass panes and I'm just going to place three of these at the front. And then next I'm going to grab myself some grey concrete and then first I'm going to leave a gap of two here and then I'm just going to place one grey just there and I'm just going to keep placing these whilst leaving a gap of two just until I reach just this point here and then I'm also going to continue this just until I reach that point just there and then I'm just going to mirror this on the other side. And then to finish off the back with some more yellow concrete, I'm going to place one yellow either side just there and then three grey concrete at the back just there. And then moving back to the front with some more black stained glass panes, I'm going to place just a row of five along the front just here. And then next I'm going to place another two yellow concrete just either side just there. And then with some more grey concrete, I'm just going to extend these pillars up so they're two blocks high in total. And then I'm also going to extend these two yellow points at the back as well. And the next I'm going to grab myself some black stained glass just here. And then I'm just going to fill up all these windows. And then once that's done, just moving back to the middle link section just here. With some more deep slate walls, firstly, I'm just going to build these all up. And then for the next layer, with some more yellow concrete, I'm going to place one on either side just there. And then with some more black stained glass panes, I'm going to place another one just on either side. And then with some black wall, I'm going to place three just on top just there. And then with some yellow concrete, from this point, I'm just going to build all the way across until I'm aligning with the fourth kind of panel of the window just there. And I'm just going to mirror that on this side as well. And then moving back to the orange concrete, I'm then going to build a row going all the way along just until I reach the end of the first part of the bus just there. And I'm just going to repeat this on this side as well. And then moving back to the orange concrete, I'm then going to place a, another row of six on this side. And again, mirroring this on the other side as well. And then just finally, with some more yellow concrete, I'm just going to build this going all the way around this end bit just there. And the next up, I'm just going to replace this yellow block with some grey concrete. And then just move into my polished deep state wall just here. Just on this block just here, I'm going to place pillar just going up just there and then moving along five blocks I'm going to place another pillar as well and then just, and then just coming to the back of the bus I'm also going to place one more pillar just on this point again building four blocks up and the next stop with some quartz slabs I'm just going to place a row of three at the front I'm just going to extend this along just until I meet up at the end of the first part of the bus And then when I get to the middle part of the bus, with some stone slabs, I'm gonna fill this area in with summer then. And then I'm just gonna fill and then I'm just gonna fill in the rest of the area with some more quartz slabs. And 
And then just to finish things off, I'm going to place one more slab on top of each of the walls. Just there. And the next, I'm going to grab myself a grey carpet. And I'm just going to place this on top of the stone slabs just there. And then coming to the front, I'm going to place a layer of two snow just there. And then a row of five behind it. I'm just going to build this snow across just to cover each of the main parts of the bus. And then just for some final details for the bus, I'm going to grab myself an item frame, some glowstone, and then a redstone block as well, and then a birch sign. And then firstly, just at the front, I'm going to place one sign just at the bottom, just there. And then two item frames either side. And then I'm just going to place some glowstone in those item frames. And then just moving to the back, again, I'm going to place another item frame just there. And then I'm going to place two item frames on either side with a redstone block just there. And then moving back to the front of the bus, I'm also going to place a bird sign just there. I'm just going to put... The route number, so 601, we might just say uh, airport, just there. And then after that, just moving to the side of the bus, I'm going to grab myself some black stained glass panes and also a deep slate tile wall. I'm going to place one pane on the top and the bottom and then just a wall in the middle there. So with the door place, that is the exterior complete. So now let's move on to decorating the inside. So firstly, just at the front of the bus here, I'm firstly going to grab myself some gray concrete and then just in this block I'm going to place one just there leaving a gap and then I'm going to place another one and then I'm also going to place one just there and I'm just going to build this up and then I'm also going to destroy this slab and replace that with some gray concrete and I'm also going to do this with this wall as well and then just coming back to the top I'm just going to add some more snow just there and the next, I'm also going to grab myself a birch gate. I'm just going to place this in the center just there. And with a lever, I'm going to place one just on the end there for some sort of machine. And then, and then I'm also going to grab myself a deep slate tile stair. I'm just going to place one of these just there. And then on top of that, I'm going to grab myself a grindstone and place it just there for a steering wheel. And then for the chair, I'm going to grab myself a smooth stone slab, place that down. Also, I'm going to grab myself an iron door. Just place that down as well. And then finally, I'm also going to grab myself a yellow banner and just place that behind just there. So next up for some chairs. So firstly, with a smooth stone slab, on this block, I'm going to place one slab just there. And then behind it, I'm going to place an iron door and then also just a yellow banner in front of that. And then going around the pole, on these two blocks, I'm going to place some more smooth stone just there. And then I'm going to place another door behind these and then some more yellow banners. And then leaving a block in between, I'm going to repeat this again. And then just moving around, another two smooth stone slabs just there. And then another two doors. And then some more banners. And again, leaving another block gap, repeating that again. And then another block gap, repeating this one more. And then just avoiding this area here, I'm then going to place another two slabs and then more doors and banners just there. And then also I just realized there needs to be a door here. So I'm just going to destroy this area here. And then with some grey concrete, I'm just going to replace that bottom bit just there. And put an extra door with some more black stained glass panes. Just grab some of them. One of these on the top and bottom. And then also... I think so, it's a tile wall just in the middle, just there, or a back entrance as well. And then finally, just for some more seats, I'm going to place another four just at the back there. And then two yellow banners for the back seats, and some more doors, and then some banners for those two seats as well. So, with all of our seats placed, that is our shuttle bus all complete. So, with the shuttle bus complete, I can now move on to some of the vehicles in the actual kind of plane area. And before we start, if you want to fit in these slots with some planes, I have got a passenger plane tutorial, which I will put up in the top right hand corner there. So check that out if you want to build a passenger plane for your airport as well. 
And what I like about this design is that you can kind of change up the color schemes as well. So I kind of changed this one to more of a yellow one as well. So next up, I'm going to show you how to build the airport luggage buggy. So first up, I'm going to grab myself some smooth stone slabs. And I'm also going to grab myself some black wool. And then first up, I'm just going to place two black wool just like this. And then I'm going to leave a gap or two and I'm going to place another two black wool just there. And then I'm going to leave a gap of three. Then I'm going to place another two black wool, leaving another gap of two. And then another two black wool there. And then finally, another gap of three. And then another two black wool. Just leaving a gap of two in between them just there. And then moving to my smooth stone slabs, I'm then going to place two at the front. And then four in the middle. And then one along the back there. I'm just going to repeat this for the other two sets of wheels. So for the main front buggy here, first thing I'm going to grab myself some polished deep slate just here. And then on the back, I'm just going to place four just there. And then on top of that, I'm also going to grab myself some yellow carpet and just place four of them on top as well. And then I'm also going to get myself some yellow wool and I'm going to place four just along there and then i'm also going to grab myself some quartz stairs i'm just going to place these opposite each other for a little seat just there and then moving back to the yellow wall i'm going to place another two just at the front there and then i'm also going to grab myself some levers and i'm just going to place two just there for some controls for the vehicle and the next up, I'm going to grab myself some black stained glass. And then just for the front window, I'm going to place two just there. And then next, I'm also going to grab myself some iron trap doors. And firstly, just for the roof, I'm going to place four just there. And then just for some side doors, firstly, I'm going to place one trap door just on that side. And another one on this side. And then underneath, I'm just going to add a lever just here. And then as I enter the vehicle... If I just shift, I can sit down here and then drive just like this. So next up for the luggage part of the buggy, which carries all of the suitcases and that. So for this, with some yellow wool, first thing I'm going to place two just on either side of each buggy. Just there. And then I'm also going to grab myself some normal rails and some powered rails. And then firstly, I'm just going to place two normal rails either side of each buggy. And then I'm going to place two powered rails just there. And this should create some sort of loop just like this. And now I'm going to grab myself some mine carts with a chest. I'm just going to place around seven to eight just on there. I think seven works. So I'm just going to place seven just here. And then these just act as little suitcases which will be transported to the aircraft. And this actually comes from the luggage section of the airport just here. And as you can see, when I put a mine cart with a chest on this belt, it will then be transferred third onto the buggy which will then be sent to the aircraft and then moving to my trap doors i'm going to place two of these on top of each yellow wall just there and then just to link each of these sections together i'm going to grab myself a chain and then i'm just going to place two chains just here and then for the wheels i'm also going to grab myself a night in frame and also and also some light gray wool I'm just going to place these item frames over each of the wheels. And then inside these item frames, I'm just going to add some light grey wool. And then just to finish this vehicle off with some burnt signs, I'm just going to place two of these at the front and the back. And that'll give us our baggage handlers buggy just there. So next up for some stairs for the aircraft. So firstly, I'm going to grab myself some grey concrete. And then just for one set of stairs, firstly, I'm just going to place two grey concrete down like that. And then another two on the other side. And then I'm just going to zig this. And then I'm just going to kind of zigzag this up by three levels. And then extend this by one just there. And then I'm going to grab myself some stone brick stairs. And then I'm just going to place three of these firstly going up just like that. 
And then I'm also going to grab myself some stone brick slabs. And then I'm going to place two of these going along just there. And then also with some iron bars, I'm going to place four of these just on each side. Just there. And for some wheels, just moving to the back. And then going to place with some more iron bars. One iron bar just there. Then another two. And then I'm going to extend this by one more. And then just when I get to this point, I'm going to place another iron bar. And then I'm also going to grab myself some black wool. I'm just going to place one black wool on either side just there. And then just to finish it off, I'm then going to add one iron trap door. Just on top like that. And then finally, I'm also going to get myself a chain and add a chain on the end just there. And by doing that, that gives us a nice stairs design so passengers can actually enter the aircraft. And then for our final vehicle, I'm going to show you how to make a conveyor belt so we can actually load bags into the plane. So for this, firstly, I'm going to grab myself some black wool and I'm also going to grab myself some quartz slabs. So firstly, Starting from this block just here, I'm going to place one black wall there, leaving a gap of two, and then I'm going to place another one. Then I'm going to leave a gap of six, and place another two black wall, just like this. And then with our quartz slabs, I'm just going to go all the way around all the wheels that we just placed. Just like this. And then I'm just going to fill in the middle as well. And the next up with some more quartz slabs. Firstly, starting from this block, I'm going to place one there, and then one next to it, and then two more along just there. And then leaving a gap of one, I'm going to repeat this. And then I'm just going to go up another half a block, and then I'm going to do another row of four, and then another half a block, and then another row of four. And then just mirroring it on this side as well. The next up with some polished blackstone slabs firstly, I'm just going to replace these three blocks with the blackstone and then also the one on the end just there. And then I'm also and then I'm going to place two slabs just on each block for the middle section there. And then I'm going to place some more slabs for this top and then some slabs on top of that as well. And then next up I'm going to grab myself some powered rails and I'm just going to place these going all the way along just there and then I'm also going to grab myself a redstone torch I'm just going to place one of them just under here and then I'm also going to grab myself some deep slate tiled walls I'm going to place one of these just either side just at the front just there and then moving to the other side firstly I'm going to grab myself some yellow carpet and then from this point I'm just going to build all the way across just like this. And then I'm going to grab myself a deep slate tile stair. I'm just going to place one of these just there. And then I'm also going to grab myself a grindstone or a steering wheel. I'm just going to place one just there. And then for one final detail, I'm going to grab myself some item frames. I'm just going to place these on each wheel. And then similar to how we did with the luggage buggy over there. I'm going to grab myself some grey wool, some light grey wool, and I'm just going to fill the item veins with this. And then for one final detail, with some more Burt signs, I'm going to place two at the front. Actually, no, never mind. I'm going to place one just there, and then another one is at the back, just there. And that is four different ground vehicle designs for your airport in Minecraft. And that is the final part of the airport collection that I've done. So if you want to check out the other parts of the airport collection, so if you want to build a airport terminal or maybe a watchtower or just something like that, then you can check the previous videos out as well. But thanks for watching and I will see you another time. And also I've got a Discord server, so if you want to join a creative community and just chill with me, then I'll put the link to that in the description. And also, if you did enjoy, please like the video as it does help me out and I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll hopefully see you another time. Have a good day.